Hello YouTube, it's your girl Portia T. Air, and I want to welcome you here to my channel, Portia T. Air. If you are a first time viewer, hey, how are you doing? Welcome. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, what's up Nisi? What's your plans for this week? You got any plans? Hopefully planning to stay in the house because that's all we're doing all spring of 2020. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad you guys are here tuning in to another <laughs> video of mine. This video is going to be another story time, as you all can see. I see my last one. You guys really enjoyed it. And so I'm like, you know what? That's a real easy video to post. Let me tell some more of these good old stories. So if you guys are ready to hear another story, sit back, grab your popcorn. This is going to be another it's kind of a Mac story. It took place while I was working at Mac, but it wasn't like a Mac customer. And as I continue, you guys will get what I'm saying. So this is during the time when I had first started working at Mac. Yes, the good old days, <laughs> if you want to call it that. When I first started working at Mac, I worked at a very, very small location inside of a Dillard's in Monroe, Louisiana. This is while I was in college. That's the first time I started working for Mac. I'm at the counter, minding my business. I was the only person there particularly at this time when this took place. This gentleman walked up to me, black man. He had on a suit. You hear me? Like a business suit, not like a preacher. He would look like a lawyer or a professional of some sort. He approaches me. Now, just a few steps behind him was another person. He was black as well. I would say this he had to be between 13 to 15 years old, just given his height. He was black, did I already say that? And I don't want to say handicapped, but he looked like he may have been special needs, possibly. This is me judging someone on how they looked physically. Not Down syndrome, but like maybe some kind of delay. So the man stops me, he says, excuse me, um, where's your closest bathroom? And this particular Dillard's, and I don't know if it's still built the same, the only bathroom was upstairs. Yeah, it wasn't a downstairs in this. The only building was, excuse me, bathroom was upstairs. I said, oh, bathroom's upstairs. That was our quick exchange, he said, okay. Now, the other gentleman, the teen boy, was close enough behind him that I almost thought they would work together, but then this happened. So once I told him, yeah, the bathroom's right up the escalator, keep going to the back, the other, the kid stopped me and was like, oh, the bathroom's up there. So I'm like, yeah, it's upstairs. Not thinking nothing of it. So initially I thought maybe they were together, but once I told him where the bathroom was when he was wanting clarification and this briefly I'm like okay maybe they're not together and scoop they proceeded on to the bathroom so I thought well they did go to the bathroom I'm going to say I wouldn't even say 10 minutes later I don't know the time frame it was a short to me, it was a reasonable amount of time for someone to be leaving. I see the black gentleman walk out the main doors into the mall. So our counter was right near the mall entrance of Dillard's. I seen him walk out like I caught the side of him and as he walked out. You, I just looked up and seen him walking out. I was like, you know, I didn't have a thought about it, but I did observe him walking out. Didn't seem like he was walking abruptly. Didn't seem strange at all. Just looked like he was walking out into the mall. I'm like, okay, I guess he found the bathroom. I didn't think, no, I mean, I literally had no thoughts about it, but I did see him walk out. How are we going to say the time frame? The timing is hard to explain. Oh, God, Lord. I'm going to say 10 minutes later after that, 10 to 15 minutes later. Here comes this black woman and she's with the teen boy that I described earlier. What's your name? What's your name? Me? Excuse me? What's your name? 
I'm like, excuse me? Now, the team boy, he's kind of got his head down. He just, you know, like, again, he seemed a little delayed. He just seemed a little odd. So he just kind of looked, and she was like, you just sent my son to the bathroom with a man who tried to sexually assault him. <laughs> excuse, excuse me? She was like, something to, like, my son says you told him how to get to the bathroom. Who was he? Where'd he go? Who is he? He tried to get my son to suck his beep. You guys pull in the blank. It starts with a D. I'm like, what? Where is he at? Who was he? My son said you was talking to him. I'm like, this man just asked me where the bathroom was. I don't know him. I do not know that man. <laughs> my son said you told them how to get to the bathroom. I'm like, I thought your son was with him. So I said that. My son does not know him. He does not know him. I'm like, oh, it seemed like he was walking with him. He doesn't know. He tried to get my son to suck his baby. I'm like, I don't know this man. Never seen him in my life. But he walked out into the mall. Y'all in cahoots. This is where the cameras at. How do I get the cameras? I want the cameras. I mean, lady was on 100. She seemed crazy too. I'm like, well, security is upstairs. HR is upstairs. Um... I directed her to the escalator as well because, again, I'm like, what the heck? Now, I forgot. At this point, my other coworker here came up, and the lady was just <laughs> livid. I'm thinking, make sure I ain't forgetting nothing she said. But she proceeded on, just walked on off. My coworker was like, oh, my God. What was that about? So, I told her what happened. I'm like, this gentleman asked me where the bathroom was, that boy she was with she said it's her son he was walking with them i almost thought they were together but then you know i explained how he was like oh the bathroom's that way so i'm like maybe they weren't together i said i just told him where the bathroom was she coming back telling me the man tried to get her son to give him oral pleasure she's like oh my god why like what did he look like i was like oh he was black he had a suit i'm like oh my god do you think he did it i'm like I don't know, you know, I, you can't judge nothing off of nobody what they got on. I'm like, I don't know what that man's on. He could be all kind of pedophile or some kind of trick. Who knows? She was like, wow. So I still was just like, wow, that was bizarre. So I went and sat in the back room, just chilling and doing, probably looking at my phone. Who knows? I don't know how much time went by at this point. Probably 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> my coworker comes peeking in the back. Oh my God, Portia, the police are out here. I'm like, the cops? She's like, yes, and they're looking for you. I already knew what it was about. I'm like, this lady didn't call the police. So I get up, you guys. I come out to the counter. It is three police officers. And he's like, um, can I speak to you? I said, yes. So he kind of, they have me stand to the side of the counter. They were like, ma'am, we heard you're in involvement with the sexual assault. I'm like, no, <laughs> let's be clear. I'm not involved. So he was like, a lady called the police, told them that I and this man, um, I told him how to get to the bathroom. Basically, I guess trying to assume like, there's some kind of sex trafficking ring or like I tried to set something up. It was something to the effect of like, she thinks you like set up her son. So I told the cops what happened. Like this man asked where the um, bathroom was. Her son was a few feet behind him. He confirmed like, oh, the bathroom's that way. I said, yeah, they went on their merry way. A few minutes or so later, I did see the gentleman walk out. He was like, would you be able to describe him if you seen him again? I had to honestly say no, because I didn't pay that much attention. I'm like, all I know he was black. He was tall, he had on a business suit. If you gave me a lineup, I couldn't point him out because I literally didn't pay attention to how he looked. Like, I didn't look clear enough to be like, yeah, that's him, if that makes any sense. So, I'm like, so he was like, well, this lady said that the man went into the restroom with her son and tried to force, coerce her son into giving him, you know, oral pleasure. 
I'm like, ah, that's what she said. So I told her, I'm like, she came here confronting me. I told her where HR and security was, and that's it. He was like, well, did her son seem a little, this is the police officer now. Um, did her, did her son seem a little, I thought he was trying to insinuate like homosexual. So when he was like a little, I'm like, I don't know what he's into. I don't know. I'm like, I didn't pay that much attention. He's like, no, no. Does he seem a little slow? I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> so I didn't say he looked slow to me because the officer was like, well, to me, he seemed a little slow. And the mom seems a little off her rocker as well. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's bizarre. He was like, okay, um... I don't know what we could do with this. We were trying to get your side. And I was like, my side is, that man was a complete stranger. I told him where the bathroom was and they proceeded onto the bathroom. What took place in there, I don't know. He was like, well, when you seen him walk out, do you think it was a long enough time to like do something like this? I'm like, I don't know how long it takes to ask someone to give you oral pleasure and they deny you like i don't know i don't know how long that takes. like he walked out in a reasonable amount of time for someone that went to the restroom that's now if he tried to get somebody to give him some head i would that take five seconds i don't know how long it takes for someone to ask for that it don't take much time so then he goes, okay, I mean, did a guy, did he look? I mean, what was his look like? I'm like, again, he was wearing a suit, but his attire has nothing to do with, I'm like, what's that got? People in suits do all kind of strange things. Like, yeah, well, I mean, this isn't much information, you know. Thank you for your time, sorry to bother you. You know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let this go. And I was just like, oh, okay, and, um, so they end up walking off. I go back, you know, turn back to go to my counter and all my coworkers. Again, I'm the only black person. It was two of them this time. It was the coworker that was there when the lady confronted me. And then it was another coworker. And they were like, what was going on? Oh my God, why were the police talking to you? So I told them what happened. I'm like, well, that lady earlier, you know, that from what well, she called the police and thought I was in cahoots with the man who tried to get her son to do whatever. Oh my gosh, she thought she nailed him. I'm like, this is the other co worker, not the one that was there. I'm like, yeah. What are the cops gonna do? Like, did they get your name? Like, do you have to go to court? I'm like, uh, no. I just like, I just told them what happened and that was pretty much it. Fast forward some time um, later. It was time for me to go on my lunch break. Walked out into the mall area to go down to the food court to get my lunch. And as I was grabbing my lunch, I seen the woman, her son, and she had another kid with her, like they were in the food court, still in the mall, walking around, whatever. But she didn't see me and um, I didn't go to jail. So that was a crazy, crazy story. <laughs> I still to this day was like, why would she think I knew who that man was? I did not know that man at all. What, who you think I am? I'm an employee here in a department store. I don't have time to be trying to sex traffic anyone. You get what I'm saying? Y'all, that was so crazy. Anywho, I mean, that's all that took place. No charges were pressed. I wasn't involved in the situation. And that's another crazy story at the Mac counter. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all for tuning into this story time. I hope you found this a little amusing. It was a crazy day. <laughs> but again, thank you guys for checking out my channel. I will see you guys on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Then follow me on social media. I would love to see your faces. See you guys on my next video.